Hey guys, today we're looking at the skeletal system and we're, um, <coughs> we have a writing prompt that says explain the functions of a skeletal system and then you have to start write a, a topic sentence, write a fact, another fact, another fact, and then you have to write a conclusion, okay? So your topic sentence tells you, tells a summary, a, a reader the summary of what your um, paper is going to be about in the conclusion. It gives another summary, but you have to restate it. You can't put use the same topic sentence and the same conclusion sentence. So the best way to do this is to use a split screen. Remember, um, uh, several weeks ago, I, sh I did a tutorial and showed you guys how to split your screen using an app from the App Store, from the Google Store. So that's what I'm doing today, and that's what you're going to need to do for this too, so you don't have to toggle back and forth between the uh, tabs. All right, so. Um, I'm going to read the skeletal system paper to you on the, the article to you on the left. All the bones in the human body are called the skeleton. The skeleton gives the body shape <coughs> and form so that we don't flop around like jellyfish. Bones and all the connecting parts like joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons make up the skeletal system. The skeletal system has many jobs or functions. Addition to giving addition to giving the, the body shape, it protects the organs. The skeletal system allows us to move and bend. Inside bones, blood cells are produced. All right, so <coughs> my topic sentence. Um, this is mainly about how all the bones in the human body are called the skeleton. The skeleton. Um, and so we learned that the skeleton gives us shape so we don't flop around. The bones connect uh, parts like the joints, the cartilage, ligaments, tendons. Um, so what I'm going to use my topic sentence is the skeletal system has many jobs or functions. But, all right, so I'm just gonna write the, skelet the skeletal system So, <laughs> I did copy this exact same sentence, and um, that's okay as long as you, it, it really isn't okay, but it's okay when you're writing a paper as long as you cite it. And cite it just means you have to tell where you got your, you have to tell, you have to put it in quotation marks, that's something that you'll learn about doing later, but you have to put it in quotation marks, and then you have to uh, the quotation marks lets the reader know that, hey, I copied this word for word from this specific article. And you have to put the article, the name of the article, where you got the article from, the page, and all that. So if I have to go back and check this, I'll be able to know the exact page. Anyway, so for right now, this part's okay. All right, so I've got to list one, two, three facts. So um, all the bones make up the skeletal system. The skeleton gives the body shape. All right, so we know that it gives us shape. <coughs> and then we see that the bones connects the joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons, and it helps us to move and bend. All right, so uh, one fact that I'm going to write is, <coughs> um, our skeleton. gives our body shape and protects our organs <laughs> fact two, um, bones and all the connecting parts, like joints, cartilage. Okay, so uh, our skeleton connects our cartilage. ligaments and tendons. <coughs> we 
have blood cells <coughs> that are made or produce in our bones. So you see how I reworded it, how I summarized it. Okay, and then the conclusion sentence. For the conclusion sentence, I'm restating the topic sentence. The skeletal system has many functions. So uh, my, <coughs> my conclusion could be In conclusion, not only does our skeleton, I'm going to open this up so I